Six Pack Surfer here. Welcome to another gameplay review. And today, we're going to be checking out Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And today, we're going to be talking about the multiplayer mode. I already went over zombies. No one's watching that. Got no views. I went over the campaign. No one's watching that. Didn't get any views. And today, we're going to talk about the multiplayer. Good night. <laughs> now... Now, I'm going to get straight to the point here. Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer has not been getting very flaming. Fucking ding. Fucking dumpster blaze, dumpster fire, piece of shit, dumpster inferno that I've ever fucking played in my entire life. It is the absolute worst. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, the multiplayer is absolutely fucking dog shit. I'm going to go over real quick five reasons why. Now, the first reason that the multiplayer is absolutely horrible is because before you even before you even touch the game, before you even play the game or see the maps or see the weapons or see how you level up or anything like that, the game's already before you touch it. Is unplayable and there's two reasons for that it's unplayable because it has the skill-based matchmaking and because it has the forced crossplay now if you're playing on PC the forced crossplay doesn't matter because guess what PC has an obvious pretty obvious advantage over console players they're just, they're quicker, and also, they just, it looks like when you're playing on a console versus a PC, it seems like they can always detect you first, because it's like, it's like their screen shakes or something like that. It's like their screen shakes, and they know exactly where you are, and they, they start tracking you through a wall, or when you're literally 100 feet away, they'll either, they hear you or somehow detect you, and they start looking towards you already. So PC has an advantage. So if you're a PC player, you don't care. But if you're a console player, you're getting the shit under the stick. And to be forced to play with PC is just the most most disturbing and most egregious fucking crime ever committed by video games. I mean, it's horrible. So you have that. So the forced crossplay is terrible for, for console players. And then you have the um, skill-based matchmaking. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, talking about skill-based matchmaking and uh, rightfully so because there if you think about it if you have any kind of critical thinking or reasoning skills or any kind of like integrity whatsoever and you really you really hash it out there's no reason in casual play to have skill-based matchmaking no nobody has any right to tell me tell any gamer who you should be playing with. If it's not a competitive or a ranked mode, then there should be no skill-based matchmaking whatsoever. If you just want to hop into a casual random lobby, there should be no skill-based matchmaking. The only thing that should be doing with the matchmaking 
is uh, based on ping or based on connection speed. All right, so right off the bat, the game's unplayable. So if you have any skill, if you're decent whatsoever at the game, it's going to throw you into the craziest fucking sweaty fucking pathetic try hard super sweat lobbies ever imaginable where people are just just for one everyone's cheating so you got that for two everyone's just you know tracking you before you ever see them everyone's invisible everyone one shot kills you everyone's jumping up and down like a stupid bunny on crack all right, and just being an all-around loser in life. All right, that's how people are playing in these lobbies. All right, so if you have, like I said, if you have any skill, if you're good at the game whatsoever, you're going to be getting straight punished. You're going to be getting straight tortured by getting thrown into insane lobbies. Uh-oh. Got two guys coming. Got them. Got them both. So, um, yeah, it's it's unplayable right off the bat. You have the skill-based matchmaking, and you have the uh, forced crossplay. The SBM, it's just, in this game, it's literally cranked out of control. The worst I've ever seen it by far in any Call of Duty game. I mean, I'm a casual player, but for a casual, I'm, I'm decent at it, you know? So, I'm just getting put into the most insane lobbies imaginable every game. Every single game. And it, and it doesn't matter how many games you lose in a row or how poor you perform. It still puts you into the same lobbies every time. There's no... There is no let up. So... So there's that. The game's unplayable before you even play it. Now, when you actually get into the game and you play it for a while, the second thing you're going to notice is that the maps are absolute dog shit an absolute atrocity they are so 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 bad they are so bad the maps are terrible and now just think about it here the maps are made for a game that came out like like and 15 years ago. So, how on earth are those gonna are those games gonna work? Are those maps gonna work when the game is so different from what it was? I mean, it just makes it makes no logical sense. It's not gonna work, no matter what, because the games are so different. The way you play, the way the way you move, everything is different now. So, there's no way these old maps are gonna work. First of all, second of all, the maps are way too big. They're huge, so none of the games even get to to 30 kills well, if you're playing I play free for all so if you're playing 6v6 the maps are way too big and they're also they're way too convoluted every single map is huge and then whenever there is any kind of structure it's like a maze like labyrinth that you you have to, it's a puzzle and you know just the, vis the visibility is horrible moving around is horrible every time you get killed it's from someone you don't see just the maps just are dog shit. They don't work. I think there's two or three maps that I like. Terminal and Rust, because they're nice and small and tight, as tight as can be. The rest are just huge, terrible maps. Got the target down. So yeah, the maps are absolutely terrible. Just horrible. And besides that, they're all remakes, so right off the bat, how lazy is that? There's no... Just think about it. There's no new content in the game whatsoever. <laughs> All right, so yeah, they tricked everyone paying seventy, a hundred dollars for a, a game that's literally a remake or a remaster. All right, so what a ripoff! Maps are absolutely terrible. Third thing that's terrible is that um. Is that uh, because of the skill-based matchmaking, or whatever it is, just the connection is always horrible. Like it's always, 
it's always laggy and janky. It's never, it's never smooth. It's never a good con connection. And like the hit detection is absolutely abysmal. The hit detection is horrible. In this game, you will literally dump your clip into somebody and they'll just one shot you. The, the, the hits, you know, the hits will register, but the killing shots will never register. And you're just dumping your clip into him, dumping your mag into him, waiting for him to die. He's not going to die, and it's at that point you know you're going to get one-shotted, and that's what happens every time. All right? And not only that, but it seems like, and I swear to God, whenever you're doing good in the game, it just nerfs you. If you're doing good in the game, you're having a good match, it's going to nerf you in the middle of the game. It's going to screw up your connection, screw up your aim, screw up the hits, screw up your spawns, and you're gonna and you're going to lose. You're going to lose the initiative you're gonna lose so uh yeah it's just something about it is just off something about it seems um premeditated it just seems tainted it seems um compromised oh shit got caught damn it Damn it, got compromised, sorry. Alright, and clear now. So yeah, the game just seems the game seems off in that regard with in terms of the connection, the hit detection, and all that I'm sure is it's due to, you know, the skill base the skill based matchmaking and just you know the manipulation of the game and the algorithm and all that stuff. So those are terrible things about it. Um, what else? So we can wrap this video up. Uh, the maps are terrible. Skill-based matchmaking. Um, worse crossplay. The connection and just the hit detection and all that's terrible. Also, another thing is that the um, the way that you unlock equipment, I'm sure you've heard, is absolutely ridiculous. You have to do these daily challenges, and then you have to win matches. And again, it's just another manipulative tactic that they use to get you to play more and try to win and try to be a super sweat. So I'm sure you've all heard about that. That's also terrible. And the last thing that's hard about the, horrible about the game is, I did mention it briefly, is just the horrible cheating. I mean, the cheating is worse than ever in this game. Um... You, you, I mean, you get it bad. You could just see people straight, straight up tracking you through walls. Uh, they hear you coming from a mile away. They start, oh, this, oh, and, and the spawns, the cheating and the spawns. The spawns are terrible. Every time you spawn in, you're spawning like right in front of somebody, or somebody's camping on the the spawn spot. So it's like the community is terrible with the cheating and just the way people play. It's just Call of Duty has made. You know, the community absolutely rotten. The game at this point is absolutely rotten. Um, it's horrible. So, yeah, you get really bad cheating. One time, I, I just laced some, somebody up super bad, dumped my whole clip in him. Then he shot me, like, one time, and then shot me, like, one time in the foot, and I was dead. I'm just going to lay here and close out this video. So, yeah, they're tracking you through walls. You know, they're one-shot aim-assisting you. Um... All that kind of stuff. So the community is rotten. The game is rotten. The last thing I'm going to say before I cut this video is one, subscribe to the Six Pack Surfer, and two, stay away from Modern Warfare 3. Don't buy it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money on it. Stay away from it. It's, it's absolutely toxic, especially the multiplayer. It is literally the worst game I've ever played full stop, flat out. It's a fucking piece of shit. All right, you've been warned. This is a red alert warning. Stay away from Modern Warfare 3. All modes are fucking trash. You've been warned. Have a great day. Six Pack Surfer out.